Guess what, Chuck? Disaster time. Our teacher wants us to read a book during Christmas vacation. Got any suggestions? On what book to read? No, on how to get out of it. I'm not going to have to read a book, Marcy. See, A Tale of Two Cities was just on TV. I watched the movie, so now I won't have to read the book. The only thing I didn't understand were the parts about the shampoo, the soap, and the coffee. Those were the commercials, sir. I'd like to read this book, Marcy, but I'm kind of afraid. I had a grandfather who didn't think much of reading. He always said if you read too many books, your head would fall off. You start the first chapter, sir, and I'll hold on to your head. Why aren't you reading your book, sir? It's too nice a day to stay inside and read, Marcy. Besides, I have to build this snowman. If I don't do it, no one else will. And he'll never exist. I'm his creator. It's my duty to give him life. This snowman has a right to live, Marcy. You're weird, sir. Marcy, what book were you supposed to read during Thanksgiving vacation? This is Christmas vacation, sir. Christmas vacation? How can I read something during Christmas vacation when I didn't read what I was supposed to read during Thanksgiving vacation? Duck, sir. Easter is coming. What are we going to hear today, Marcy? Handel's Messiah. The most exciting part is when they get to the Hallelujah Chorus and everyone stands. Standing is exciting? The Hallelujah Chorus, sir. Everyone is standing up. They're what? Standing up. Yipe! Everywhere we go, Marcy, you embarrass me. What was Handel's first name, Marcy? I'm ashamed to admit I don't know. I'll just have to guess. <laughs> 